Lame Truth here, the Codfather himself, bringing you another video. Guys, if you could please drop a like on this, I'd appreciate it because my PS5 and my Elgato just do not get along. I spent hours troubleshooting some issues and I still don't have audio. So if anyone knows how to get audio on an HD60S Elgato through the PS5, let me know because it's just, it just wasn't recording it. I don't know why. As you can see here, though, on the modern Who Cares 3 beta, uh, the UI is pretty much identical to Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2. In fact, I would say if I was just drunk one night coming home from the bar and I, I popped in this game by mistake, and not Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, I, I think it was that game. It's that similar. It's that similar. Down to, like, the shitty horizontal cards and stuff that you saw there. Down to the loadout. I mean, this looks, it, this looks like a mod. It truly does. Uh, I want to give you guys like a really fair first impressions video, though. I don't want to just complain and, and and you know, bitch and moan or whatever, because th there is some good stuff here. I, I truly have to admit there's some good stuff, uh, but I do want to just point out everything and, and not be an emotional little fanboy and say, like, this game's perfect, Call of Duty's back, because no, it, it's not. This truly does feel like a Modern Warfare 2 mod of Modern Warfare 2, as weird as that is to say, but Modern Warfare 2 2009 modded into <laughs> modern warfare roman numeral 2 that's what it feels like that's what sledgehammer's games pretty much feel like like vanguard was like a bad mod of modern warfare 2019 for example and i'm gonna say something very controversial here before i get into the meat and potatoes of what i think of this game and, and what i think of the gameplay and again this is a true first impressions video because i played one match and then i got off and then i couldn't really get back on easy it was glitching out and then it reset all my settings so i said you know what no i'm just gonna record a video i, I don't have time to Redo all my settings. So, yeah, be wary. There are some bugs. It wouldn't be a Call of Duty beta without bugs. But one more, one more. It's just a beta, BT. Go easy on your 4,000 devs. I don't know how many devs worked on this, but anyway. Um, yeah, first impressions here. Full, full, just too long didn't read version, I guess, right now. Um, this, this feels pretty good. I have to admit, feels pretty good. The movements and the way the gunplay is... It's sort of like Cold War. Feels like Cold War a lot. Uh, like, I mean, if you're jumping from Cold War to this, you're going to have a very, very easy transition, I'll just say. The aim assist feels like Cold War as well. Speaking of the aim assist, it doesn't feel that strong. And this is me playing with a PS5 controller that I'm not used to. And this is me not playing Call of Duty in like 10 months. So I will be very rusty this gameplay. Uh, but I do know Favela quite well. I played a lot of, you know, MW2 OG, so I know Favela quite well, and the map looks good. I noticed it was a little hazy. I don't know what that was about. Like, when I first booted up this map, and I'm stuck right here, by the way. I'm stuck! I am stuck! It's a Vanguard staple. I don't know what I got stuck on there, like a, a brick in the wall. <laughs> Shout out Pink Floyd. I don't know what I got stuck on, but... Yeah, it, it's a little clunky in that regard. Like, I, 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 Sledgehammer just, you get stuck on their maps more often than the other two devs. I don't know why. Remember the glitchy ledges on Numa Numa and Vanguard? My god, I would dry hump those things like I was a frat boy and um, experimenting in a bi-curious party. But I digress. Um, I, I do want to talk about the movement and the gameplay and the fluidity of everything. And, and I need to go, I, I think I changed my settings halfway through this match. But there's like motion blur and stuff. I think that was what was causing the just haziness I was experiencing or whatever, or maybe I need to turn down the film grain. I don't know. But uh, as far as how this game feels, it feels good. It feels like Cold War. Like if you play Cold War and you like Cold War, it feels like that on the modern Warfare Roman numeral two engine. Feels good. I, I would honestly say, I, I would go as far to say that this is the best feeling Call of Duty we've had maybe ever. And I, I, that, that, that's a little early to say because God knows what's going to happen with the full release and packet burst and all that stuff that could happen. But, like, it feels good. It looks good. I like it. I got to give it a thumbs up there. I, I like the way the aim assist feels, the guns feel, the movement feels. It all feels good. I got no complaints, man. I'm going to say something a little controversial here, yet very, very brave. And this is going to ruffle some feathers, and this is going to maybe paint me in a negative light. Like, I'm just a big negative Nancy, and I don't like anything. But I'm going to say it because it needs to be said. Uh, you, you know, I hated Call of Duty Vanguard, as did a lot of you, right? I, I think we all kind of collectively hated that game. It was bad. Vanguard had pretty good gameplay, though. The core gameplay was pretty damn good. I would argue it was right up there with Cold War. Like, it was fast-paced. You had the Blitz mode or whatever. 
for, for big team battle games on big maps. The gameplay of Vanguard, there's nothing wrong with the core gameplay, how it felt, how it sounded, how fast you moved, how fast the gameplay was. You know, they, it, it kind of did the Modern Warfare Roman numeral uh, 2 and Modern Warfare 2019 problem of like not keeping red dots on the minimap. But aside from that, it, it played fine. That was not Vanguard's issue. Vanguard's issue was literally everything else. Everything else. <laughs> and if you just want to hop on into my time machine here, and we, we travel back in time two years ago to when Vanguard was new, uh, it was basically everything but the gameplay that Vanguard had an issue with and that Sledgehammer had an issue with. Matchmaking with a party just did not work. I don't know about you guys, but like it just never ever worked to the point where i just played that game solo because i couldn't play with anyone um you know you had the incendiary grenade ruining shipment with the with the vape clouds or whatever and nobody could see anything uh you had game crashes you have bugs and glitches out the ass you had balance issues out the ass you had like well, you you'd call on a juggernaut it crashed the game you had packet burst cons constantly everything about vanguard was just amateur. It, it was like the devs just were not talented enough for the job that was given to them. Truth be told. This beta is showing me what I already knew Sledgehammer could do. You know? I, I don't really have any complaints about how Sledgehammer's Call of Duties play from a core perspective. I think we've been I think we've been exposed to bad Call of Duty so long that like this feels amazing. You know, I, I really do. Even me, even me, the most critical motherfucker on the platform is praising this game right now because we've gotten garbage for the past three, four years. We, we just experienced arguably the worst Call of Duty of all time, for example, with Modern Warfare Roman Rule 2. So it remains to be seen everything else that that they're going to put in this game. Uh, the streaks so far, just these default streaks, I kind of like the Guardian here. That's pretty neat. The SAE still feels like I I'm, I'm a snail in frozen molasses with how slow I pull out that stupid iPad. Thing must weigh like 60 pounds or something and have like a mini Mark Zuckerberg inside of it controlling things like Crane from Ninja Turtles or something. I, I don't know. It's too slow. That That's too slow, but it seems like other animations like calling in a UAV are sped back up, so that's good. Uh, the game looks good, aside from that weird hazy effect. I, I don't know if that's just my monitor or something, but... Uh, yeah, it, it, it plays fine. That's not what I'm worried about. Guys, truthfully, truthfully, I am very, very worried about everything else that, that this game's gonna throw at me. Everything else that's not gameplay. I want to keep playing the beta, and I will keep playing the beta. I want to unlock the perks. I want to see the progression system in the full game because Call of Duty, man, it, it's like a cake. You know, like Activision's so focused on making the cake look good, but then the ingredients are like an ashtray from the back of a New York City cab and some eggs that expired in like 1995 or something like that that were once on Fear Factor. So that's the inside of the cake, but the outside looks good. So, so I want to see the inside of the cake. We're seeing the outside right now, pretty much, with this beta. I will say this, though. Glitches aside, after I booted it back up, uh, I noticed no real bugs in the game. But now, we are at the point in the video where I really want to be critical. And consider this beta feedback, if you'd like. It's not a huge deal, but it's a pretty huge deal at the same time. Look at this. I shoot my teammate, because the names are too goddamn hard to see. Fifth year in a row here. Fourth year in a row, I've lost count. Fifth year in a row, I think, where the visibility is kind of an issue. There's no designated teams in this game. Also, I am stuck. I am stuck. There's collision on my Guardian there. It looks like a boombox or something. That's kind of cool. I do like the graphics on it, but why is there collision with that? Why can't I just walk through that? It's just the little things like that. Are they going to iron them out? I don't know. But I really would like nameplates just to be big. I, I I need that. We need that. You know, like, there's no designated teams. Everyone's just some stupid skin. So, like, please, make the nameplates bigger and brighter. I would appreciate it. Uh, Please, make it so I don't get stuck on everything. I would appreciate it. I'm hoping that... All the maps in this game were gone over with a fine-tooth comb because they didn't have to make them from scratch. So there's no, like... Issues like on Numa Numa, for example, back in Vanguard, where I dry humped the ledges like Ron Jeremy in 1995. Um, anyway, guys, that's my first impressions. If I had to rate this, 
if I had to rate this, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10. And that might seem a little low, but I've said this before in, in previous comments and previous videos and stuff, but I, I don't really see the point of this game when, like, when Cold War exists. Because this just plays like Cold War. Like, I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here, and I'm not trying to say, like, you, you can't enjoy this game. It, it, you know, this was a fine match I had. I noticed no issues. Everything felt smooth as butter. It really did. But, like, I can go play Cold War, which now feels smooth as butter, and that has a lot more content, for example. So, with that said, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It's a weird, it's a weird thing, because it doesn't feel like a full release. It, it truly does feel like a DLC. We joke about it. But this feels like a DLC. Is it worth $70? I mean, probably not. It, it remains to be seen, but probably not. Probably not, truthfully. Um, I would say right now, just from my first impressions, that if this game goes on sale for Christmas, like wait till Christmas, if it goes on sale like it usually does for 20 bucks off, I'd say get it then. And then by then, if there's any issues, hopefully they've, they've worked on them. I'm hoping they don't have as many issues because... I mean, most of the multiplayer is done for them because they just copied and pasted from Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2 and Modern Warfare 2 2009. So, like, I'd hope it's really polished. But, I mean, guys, this is, this is Sledgehammer we're talking about. They left a counter spy plane in the game that stopped B-2 rockets for, like, six months before they fixed it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials below. And let me know what you thought in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Parting advice?